Tara have a lot of potential for tricking. He's a good guy and look. We love him. We love him. La primera clase de vivo es por Darren. Yo pienso que con mucha práctica él va a ser una persona muy talentosa. Come on, guys. Yeah. Hi guys, how are you doing? Okay, so it's Jeno and the Nick Evangelist. Checking in with you, a week ago we went to Blue Fields on the Caribbean Sea on the east coast of Nicaragua and the group, there was like 30 of us, we went to perform at a, uh, in a Creole area of town uh, known as Beholding and we came across this fellow, his name is Darren and we dragged him back with us to Managua. Uh, Darren is a street kid, he sleeps on the streets. Uh, he um, he gets food from all over the place. His mum says he's about 15 years old. He does not have a birth certificate. He has never been to school, um, and she asks us to take him. Uh, Darren has a younger sister. Yes, um, and he left to get on the bus with literally the shirt on his back and the shorts he was wearing and the shoes on his feet. So we've been able to give him a few things. Uh, but I think he doesn't have a toothbrush, and I think we're sharing a toothbrush. Are we sharing a toothbrush? <laughs> okay, um, so look, five minutes out of Bluefields, Darren was just sort of face against the window. Uh, he had never left Bluefields. He'd never seen the countryside. Um, he is a good, loving, gentle, intelligent, sweet boy. We think he might be on the spectrum with uh, uh, autism, but that's okay. My dad says that I'm on the spectrum. Um, so example, so he found money where I was sleeping uh, and he brought it to me. And that's never happened before, has it? <laughs> no. Okay. Um, and then he saw me sleeping just on a wooden uh, blank and one of the boys said there was a spare mattress and he went and grabbed it and gave it to me at night time When it's a little bit creepy <laughs> He puts his hand in Nick Sell's <laughs> Do you do that? <laughs> okay, uh, he, he draws all over the wall, so he's never been to school but he's found some chalk in our house and he draws letters and numbers and symbols and all sorts of things, it's great. Uh, he gets all of my things and I find them all over the house, he loves to arrange or rearrange the house. Um, so basically bottom line, Darren likes us and we love him. Uh, every day Darren is having classes in uh, Bible with Pastor Dan in New Jersey. Uh, Ed Elieza is teaching him English and Spanish every day. And he's got tricking classes with Mixel and they're getting along like a house on fire, aren't you Mixie? Um, and then we have breakdance class. His learning routine. So his chores is to rake the yard, and I've seen him outside with the rake at 3 a.m. doing that. He loves to help. And uh, Darren has back in Bluefield seven friends uh, who sleep on the streets as well. So orphans, and we are going to help them. Uh, in the meantime, please pray for Darren. We absolutely love this kid, and we are believing. Uh, for a bright future for Darren, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> um, and we also want to buy him clothes, toiletries and a fan. We've made one room, we've dedicated it to Blue Fields. It's called the Blue Room. And Darren uh, sleeps in there and we would like to set things up. So if you'd like to donate, you can visit www dot nika n i c a evangelists v e a n g e l i s t s dot com. Thank you so much. Bye. 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 Bye.